Hello, Buzz Girls. My name is Hossesty, and welcome back to Belt Blast Factory. Oh, well, last time we dealt with modules. Uh, we built ourselves a small little factory down here for productivity and speed module 3. And actually, we do have three. Three complete, three productivity modules. That's fantastic. Um, probably we are all lacking here uh, on the, the red and the blue circuits. Maybe it would have been a good idea to limit the chest to uh, one stack only. Can do that when I get around down there. However, I have been uh, looking around the base to see where we have potential issues. So one thing to look at is our waiting base. Stations where we have a lot of uh, trains waiting, that's an indication they're waiting for something that's not working that well, like red circuits. So let's go to red circuits. Um, all stations are blue. Uh, this one here because we do not yet have enough. So either we are pr not producing fast enough uh, or we uh, are not delivering items uh, fast enough. Looking here we have a bit of, of a backlog of items. So that does not seem that bad, so probably here it's it's the speed. But let's also have a look um, where we are here. Heading for train fueling. Copper wire loading. Yeah. Ooh, here we have one. Copper plate loading. Yeah, that's not that surprising as we have two copper fields. This one uh, has almost run out. So that means this one has to carry everything. So I think in order to ensure uh, we can produce enough circuits, we should hook up this copper field as well. And um, how should we do that? How should we do that? I think we can hook up uh, uh, this inner square somewhere and then from there reach out to the copper square and have a basically similar setup like we have here on this side. Uh, I like the way how I uh, get the, the train lines in and there. It's a bit different than uh, uh, I did in, uh, in other situations. But at the same time, it's, it's orderly. We, for one station, we have uh, one in and out. But as soon as it goes to the main line, we have uh, a one direction only line so that we don't have any backlog. So I will hook up this uh, copper ore uh, patch and then we will see what else we have to do because the goal is we do this research and if we want to make use of the rocket control units we need quite a bit of uh, uh, circuits. So first thing is we want to boost the circuit production. However, even if we look at that, um, maybe 10 hours is not enough. 
here we had a drop not sure what really happened there but we are basically at uh, at an all-time high and if we look further back then we can really see okay uh, we have pumped up the the, the production um, so we are on the on the right track we just have to uh, to throw more things onto it and make sure that our trains are not waiting here endlessly or being stuck here on the line so that's probably the main issue that we um, are facing in this phase of the game another problem is back we again have not fueled trains and that's because we have two train stations back here that just don't get supplied with coal so maybe i need more coal trains um But by the looks of it, we have six, seven trains that go to the cold field. Uh, but that's just not enough. And two more trains out of fuel. However, if we look at the, at the productivity, we're looking good. We are... Uh, high there and if we actually look at our stations uh, here we have one free uh, here we have one free last time I checked uh, all were occupied uh, so I think on the for the green circuits we are good but uh, maybe we could do a bit better for the red circuits and there we see at least two trains are stuck behind uh, trains that are out of fuel so maybe we just need a second coal loading station and as we don't need the steam engine here anymore i am thinking maybe we can stick another station back here and then after this coal patch is used we might be able to use that one uh, uh, we also have one down here uh, and there there are plenty around so let me sort the coal situation out so that uh, our our uh, throughput is not limited by by uh, stock trains where's the other one two other ones down there Okay, I will sort out the trains, sort out the coal field, and then hopefully uh, we can get a move on. I think I have sorted out the uh, fueling problem. What it was that uh, on some of the stations I added here, I missed this wire, which meant the uh, rear stock train. Uh, just supplied these stations here they were full went back to the coal field and then back to here while never going to the uh, stocking stations that were farther away but if we now look at it uh, we uh, can see that uh, most of the restock stations are red meaning disabled because we have enough coal uh, even here around and only a few uh, actually need additional coal and with the added coal trains 
this should no longer be an issue. So now then looking back at our queues, um, train flow is is pretty good and it's it's really nice to look at the trains sipping by especially if uh, we have two trains on uh, on one line uh, that really flows nicely um, here we have a train line waiting red circuits yes uh, that's not surprising um, coalfield well, one train waiting. Um, and here we probably could do with a bit more uh, uh, supplies. Um, we only have four trains doing the supply run and um, most are three out of the four are waiting to pick things up some are stuck behind here yeah we probably should sort that out as well at some point then here yes but I think the real problem is this line here waiting for copper plate loading. So it seems that we do have um, eight stations for loading, but we have 23 trains that want to load so uh, and that's about uh, three trains per station and uh, I would say a good ratio uh, for copper is probably a bit less than two because copper we are mainly needing for a copper wire so that setup is loading copper plates, unloading copper plates, and then loading again. Um, there are a few things that also need copper, um, and there then we have additional stops in there. So I think what we actually need to do is add another copper field. And well, we are up here in this region, we can extend this line and grab this big field up here and there add three additional stations and I mean looking at it this wire production everything is blue meaning either there is a train there loading or unloading or a train is coming uh, down here the unloading is also blue but the the pickup not so much and I mean we do have enough enough wires here how are we looking up there yeah yeah so maybe we just need more trains to pick up the the wires um instead but i think in the in the long run i mean once this field runs out we need to add another anyway so i think what i will do is i add one additional train for the red circuits and then hook up that uh, that copper field up here with all the additions that we did so far we managed to get the unloading sorted for the red circuits 
but we are just not producing enough and I think the bottleneck here is this metal line where we pass through the copper wires and there is not really that much that we can do about but what we can try to do is uh, if we slow down these machines um, then maybe more machines would run in parallel and slowing down we can do that by adding productivity modules and to counterbalance that a bit we will first replace them with assembly machines mark 3 so that and here I have to be careful so I don't want to upgrade any of the uh, inserters and the uh, mark 3 assembly machines they are faster so we will add modules back here um, and probably I don't have enough for complete setup yeah that's what i thought but then let's have a look uh, we can see a change there it went up it's also coming down a bit that's probably because now we are only unloading the copper wire so all the machines here in the front where we have not backed up with uh, plastics uh, they are basically uh, running out and we can then counteract uh, if we see uh, we have slowed it down too much we can place beacons here in between and add speed modules but let's see how we get along with uh, with this setup um, I think the uh, upgrading of the machines I can do here as well and then we just have to to wait and uh, see until we get uh, enough modules produced um, to fill in the remaining machines here and of course this is a bit of a, a chicken egg problem because to uh, create the modules we need uh, red and blue circuits and I don't even want to uh, think about the productivity issues that we have done here. Because here you can see we don't have any unloading trains. They're waiting for red circuits. We are not producing enough red circuits to satisfy our hunger for the blue ones. So i think i'll let the game run a bit uh, to stock up on uh, the, the modules and then we should see uh, how this affects our production and if there is anything else that we need to tweak to get more out of it all assemblers are moduled up and if we look at the production for red circuits over the last 50 hours 
we can basically see every time we added modules, we made a jump up and we are plateauing here, which means we have enough uh, goodies to add to the machines and we are actually backlogging here. Uh, there is one more improvement that we can do and that is uh, actually switching out the copper and the plastics because here at this line we could do that with stack inserters and for the red circuits we need more copper cables than anything else. So while inserting here uh, into the machine, that's not that critical, but basically using the, the long-handed insert to uh, pass things through, um, maybe not the best idea. So, we will have to switch this out and maybe do it that way. And as we have limited these chests to a wind stack, uh, there is not that much in the chests. Um, but probably we will need a second one there for the copper wires. Right. That's all cleaned up. And then, of course, here we need to switch over to the copper wire transfer so that everything then also works. Yep. Then we... Let's switch this around. Uh, add the plastic back in. And we will have stack inserters. Going this way. And that should boost uh, the factory even more because then uh, more of the factories can actually uh, get materials to produce things and we might even need to add beacons. Um, to fully uh, uh, get that sorted out. So I will do that uh, for the other three uh, assembly lines as well. And uh, then hopefully next time uh, we can uh, work our way um, maybe not to uh, producing rocket control units, but essentially towards uh, the, the rocket silo, because what we are missing there beside the rocket control units is rocket fuel as well. So uh, we need to, uh, to consider that as well as, as we go along. All right then, hope you enjoyed it and uh, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.